When it came to paying the bondholders, as we're seeing again another 1.1 billion going out this week, and bailing out the financial system, they are to be paid whatever the cost. We are asking why is the same approach not been an effort not put into the creation of employment, to avoid emigration, to support our families and to address poverty. It is wrong to use the emigration of our educated young as an excuse and a pressure release. It is wrong that tens of thousands of children remain in dire poverty and that the issues of disadvantage of communities are not addressed. We are making the point in launching Plan B today to ask, to point out that if enough people in this country ask for alternatives, if they get involved and inform themselves, we believe that the political system can be changed and can be influenced to change direction. Plan B is about giving people hope, it's about, people, about pointing out there are alternatives. We're encouraging you to get involved. We have a petition set up on our website that people can show their support. We will be organising public meetings across the country over the coming months between now and the budget. And as I said, our main point is today there are alternatives and the current direction is morally and economically wrong. What's happened has been that political choices that have been made since the Celtic Tiger started to collapse have all been in one direction. And the consequences are plain to be seen now. Some of the most barbarous cuts that have been made include things like uh, uh, cuts in traveler education, for example, um, which will have incredible long-term societal consequences. Um, cuts in disability education, cuts in all forms of education support, and now in the coming few months, uh, cuts in residential care, um, in, a, in a wide range of other services. We saw a report at the weekend where beds available for people who are dying, hospice <coughs> beds, the kind of service that gives dignity to the end of life cannot be filled because of the funding crisis. Um, so what we have on our hands is not a set of policy choices um, that are deepening austerity. What we have is an austerity scandal. We have a set of choices that have all been in one direction. I'm not going to go into bondholders and because you know we, we'll hear a lot about that. What I think ought to be infuriating all of us and ought to be mobilizing all of us uh, is the fact that it is only people who don't have a voice who have suffered uh, in the main from the austerity choices that have been made. One of the consequences is very visible in the area that I work in on a daily basis. There's now 100,000 children in Ireland who live in consistent poverty. And consistent poverty, as Rory said, means that they don't have enough nutrition, they don't have education chances, they don't have adequate access to health care. This is Ireland in the 21st century. We have 100,000 children. Now, we have all been highly indignant at the abuse of children in religious institutions in the past. But we are abusing children today by condemning children to live in poverty and by making policy choices which will drive that poverty up. We are, we are as guilty in many ways as any society that presides over the abuse of children in closed institutions. Now is the time for this reason. There's a process that starts at this time every year. And you saw some of it in the papers at the weekend, some of the <coughs> sabers being rattled about tax and social welfare cuts and so on. But the process that starts now is a process where government departments have to defend their budgets for the next couple of months. And, and governments make choices about what is to be cut. After they have decided what is to be cut, they then go on to decide what is to be raised. <coughs> and the more they can cut, the less they have to raise. So if they can cut everything they need to cut, we won't need to have any debate about taxation in Ireland. Despite the fact, as the leaflet says, that we have a lower tax take in this country outside the Baltic states than any other country in Europe. We don't need to debate it if we can cut our way through yet another budget. I say we can't afford to do that. The austerity scandal <coughs> has to be stopped in its tracks. We can't continue to allow services for the most vulnerable people in Ireland to be cut back again and again and again. Uh, and we can't continue to allow more and more children
to go hungry and to go defenseless. Thank you very much. Thank you.